soul, it's Sam here from The Singer's Piano, where we talk about everything to do with piano, vocal and songwriting for healing and self-expression. Now today I wanted to share with you about slash chords because one of my students asked me, what is that line between these two chords? Now slash chords is an easy way for us to identify what to play in both our left hand and our right hand to get a different sound or a different harmony in the arrangements that we play. I love slash chords because they have always been a really good way for me to be able to play basic, simple piano, but kind of zhuzh it up. So let's dive straight in. Now, as you can see on my screen, this is Dido's song, Thank You. So the, the chorus goes, and I want to thank you for giving me the best day of my life. And you can see we've got a C over an E. So as you can see here, we've got C, then we've got C slash E and F. That is a slash chord. Now, it's a little bit confusing because when you first of all see those chords, you think potentially, oh, well, the C must be my left hand and the E must be my right hand. But that's not the case. It's actually switched over. So when I read the chord and I first of all see the C, I know that I need to play the C in my right hand and the E, just a singular note, in my left hand. So it sounds like this. We currently have the C, and then we have the E in our left hand. That is a slash chord. And then we have our F. So I'm gonna play you Dido's song without the slash, and then I'm gonna play you with the slash so you can get an idea of the difference. So first of all, this is without the slash. And I want to thank you for giving me the best day So it's pretty simple. We've literally got the C and the F. Now listen with the slash chord. And I want to thank you for giving me the best day of my life. So listen. What it adds movement, it adds dynamics, and it adds harmony, and it just adds a little bit more je ne sais quoi to your piano arrangement. So the left hand is doing this and the right hand is going C, C, F. Now can you see how much easier that is for me? You know, before I was having to move my hands from the C to the E to the F. So there was a lot of changes there, but because I used slash chords, my C in my right hand just stayed the same and it was my left hand that was moving. If you want to have a simple piano arrangement, I would really encourage you to look at the piano and go, oh, how can I use slash chords? So another example of this is when I first started, I used to play Wonderwall. If we were to just take it at face value here, we've got a B minor seven, we've got a D, we've got an A sus four, and we have an E7 sus4. Now, if you're a beginner, oh my gosh, that's like, what? I don't know those. What are the sevenths? What are the sus4s? Oh my gosh, this is too complicated to read. And then you've got an E7 sus4. Like, what, what is going on here? And so I discovered pretty quickly that if I do slash chords, I can open it up so much more to being simple. So what did I do? Well, first of all, I started with the B minor. And then, I played the seventh and I was like, oh, okay, that sounds good. But I wanted to make it even simpler. So I basically did the A sus4, yeah? And I just started to play the A sus4 throughout the whole thing. So I continued with the bass, doing the B, the D, the A and the E. And this is what it sounded like. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. And actually, instead of going to the E, I went to the G. But you could go to the E. By now, should somehow realize what you've got to do? I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Now, if I was to write these chords properly without the slashes, this would be a B minor seven. This would be a D with a perfect fifth. This would be an A with a perfect fourth. And this would be an E sus seven four. But as I said, like I really struggle with learning about chords. Like I'm like, what am I doing? So what do I do? Simple, 
A sus4, I know what that is. And then I slash whatever the bass notes are. So it'd be A sus4 slash B. A slash 4 over D. A, A slash 4 over E. And that, my friend, is so much easier to read <laughs> when you're writing chords down, when you're trying to figure it out. So not only am I getting that lovely harmony, but I'm making it a lot easier for myself. I'm not having to think about the sus fours or the, the sevenths or anything. I'm not even having to change my right hand. I'm keeping my right hand all the way through doing the A sus four. And I'm looking at that slash and I'm looking at the right hand chord for the note. So we've got the B, the D, the A, and the E. And so that's why I want to encourage you to put as many slash chords into your songs as possible because one, it adds beautiful harmony, but two, it also makes it so much easier to be able to read. You're still getting the benefit of the sevenths, the sus twos, the sus fours, but you're making it so much easier for yourself. Now, also, if you've loved this, I've got a free cheat sheet that you can download. Simply click on the link below, which will give you some examples of slashes that you can use when you find that G or when you find that C or that E. So just click on the link below and I will email it directly to you. And if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next week for my next tutorial. All right, take care. Bye.